In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a functional login form that lets users get to the next page only if the login name and password matches one of the login the users included in a data master. First, we have to create a data master. As this new data master will list all the users, we'll call it Users. Create two attributes, one for the login name and the other for the password and click OK. Now go back to the Data Master window and click on View and Edit Records to add a couple of examples to the Data Master. Now dragging and dropping the Data Master on the canvas you'll automatically create the login form. Add a button to the form and then link it to the screen that the user should see if he enters the right login and password. To assess the accuracy of the login and password we need to add a condition to the event. Use the function filter to set the type of condition. In the first square, drag the data master users from which the data will be filtered. In the second, put an equal sign from the general tab. New squares are created. In the first gap, drag the login name attribute from the data master tab. And in the second, drag the login text field. Now, drag the function ampersand to include the password in the condition. Using the same equal function, put the password attribute of the data master in the first square and the password field in the second. The current expression returns the name and password matching the form, but it's not a condition per se. To complete the condition, we need to state if it's true or false. Drag the function count that you'll find in the Collection tab and put it before the Filter function. Drag the Equal function one more time, but this time at the very end of the expression to compare the whole filter expression. Finally, write 1 in the last square. Now you have an expression that reads all the values inside the Data Master users and filters the one that matches the login name and password introduced in the form. Then it counts how many values match it, and if there is one, in other words, if it's true, it loads the event. Now you can simulate your prototype. 